what types are taking place. So it looks like on this top board, they give us 1, 9 times 3 raised to the x plus 1. And then they tell us over here that x equals 4. So what do you think? What do you think that we're supposed to do with this problem? Let's maybe share with your neighbor what you think you might have to do on that type of problem. I know they have it worked out up there. But talk with your neighbor to see what we might want to do. I don't know. We're up at the very top corner so far. All right. Would somebody share with us what you and your partner talked about? What do you think? What do you guys think? Yeah. Do the exponent? And what is the exponent? It's x right now, but what are we going to make x equal? 4. Good. So did you all hear that? Yeah. So we're going to take care of the exponent first, but we know the exponent because of our little hint they gave us here that we're going to place that here. So then we're going to get... Okay, and we were, we've been talking about order of operations, right? So as far as order of operations go, what... Uh, where do you think we should go with that? Frank, I forget. Do you have the book? No? There'll be time later in the period to go buy it. We're just looking at that very top one right now. All right, so what is order of operations? So should I go 1 ninth times 3 first? Or should I go 3 x three raised to the x plus 1? Or should I actually figure out what 3 raised to the 4th power? And what is 3 to the 4th power? I don't, wait a minute. So I think, I think you're absolutely right, saying we have to do this first. But how do I do 3 to the 4th power? What does that mean? Yeah, you both find 3 times itself, 4 times. You go 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. Then 9 times 3 is 27. And then 27 times 3 is 81, I believe. Yes, 9 times 9. Yeah, good. I like that. So this now becomes 81 plus 1. Okay, does everyone see how this became 81? Does that feel comfortable? Fist to five on that. Fist, no and none. Five that you do. Three, two, one, four. Fist to five. Got a five, five, fist to five. Five, 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 two, one. On your two or one, where are you okay with that? We're just taking care of this right here. Oh, three times four. Wouldn't that be close? Oh, you are so correct. But I am raising three to the fourth power, which means, so let me, I'm going to put a little side note over here. 3 with an exponent of 4 is going to be, I'm going to multiply 3 times itself like that. That's, that's, what it, that's what it comes out to. So if I multiply this all together, this right here actually comes out to be 81. Oh, so 3 times 3, 4 times? Yeah, yeah. If it was a 5, you'd go 3, 3, 3, 3. And, you know, it can grow very quickly. Okay? Does that change your uh, 1, 2 to a little bit more to a 5? Yeah. Cool. All right, where should we go next with this problem? Multiply? What am I going to multiply? You're absolutely right. Yeah. So, so what is one ninth of eighty-one? It's eighty-one over nine. Eighty-one over nine is nine, and then I get nine. Add the one to get ten. Okay. With my explanation, give me a fist of five. Fist none. Five. Yes. Anywhere in between. So, so I would 
would it go? How would 81 over 9 equal 9? Because 81 over 9 is a fraction. So how many times does 9 go into the bottom number, go into the top? And it goes 9 times because 9 times 9 is 81. Okay? Good questions. Okay. Okay, so what we did is we plugged in. So it looks like on... Let's do this. We are going to, we are going to, it is right now 159. I want to go until 210, give you roughly 10 minutes. And working with your neighbor, look at and try one through six. Try one through six with you and your neighbor. You have until 210. It's about 10 minutes. All right. So for problem number one, they told us that we have 3n plus 7. And then over to the side, they tell us n equals 12. Uh, using your words, talk to me. What should I do? I'm going to replace the n with 12. Very good. So this is going to go here. So what math operation is taking place? Multiplication. Yeah, go ahead. So 3 times 12, 36 plus 7. Help me out. 43, I like it. There's our first answer. Agree? Yeah. All right, on the next one. Oh, did I have to go back? Did you have enough time? All right. The next one, we have 3, and then we have 6m minus 17. And then they tell us m equals 5. Your words, help me. Yeah. Yeah, so this is going to go in place. So right now, 6 and m are right next to each other, and that means they're what math properties take it place? Thank you. Good job, Frank. Multiplication. So I had this, and then that's times 5 minus 17. Order of operations. says to do parentheses first, but what's inside the parentheses we should do first? Yeah, so this is going to give me a 30, and that's going to give me a minus 17. Fist of 5 that you're understanding where I'm at so far in this problem. Cool. All right. Do the parentheses first. What should, what's that going to give me? 13. And then, last thing, time. So 39. Cool. Fist of five. If you understand, if you see, if you made a mistake, do you see where you made your mistake? Do you understand where your mistake might have taken place? Giddy up. All right. Yes. Would you give me the same answer? Cool. Did you distribute the three first? Like after you did the got to the thirty? Yeah. That's. Yeah, that'll work too. Good job. I like it. I like it. All right. Problem number four. So I have this is going to be an exponent. Now, did anyone see the error we made? What's A really supposed to be in this problem? Yeah, this is supposed to be an X. See how we made a mistake? We don't know how to type anymore. All right, so that's going to replace there. Now, friends, help me out. What does two... Oh, All right. I guess I lost that board. We're back on the front board now. What does 2 to the fifth power mean? Yeah, so this means 2 times itself 5 times. Okay, and that kind of gets goofy, so i got to do it with my fingers. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. Right? Because this gives me 4, that gives me 8, that gives me 16, that gives me 32. Right? And then I subtract. 32 subtract 13. 19. Oh. Enter waiting room. That's going to let me back into this board. It changed its mind. Cool. It's good that we let us back into both boards. All right. And so what do we get for an answer? 32 minus 13? 19. All oh, right. Fist of five. Tell me if you know it. You feel good. Fist of five. Fist of five. I'm looking for fives or fists or anything in between. Okay. Uh, are we good? Can I move on? All right. Number five. It looks like I got one half, and then I got four, and that four is raised to the T, minus 12, and then they tell us T equals three. Your words. Help me. 
Yeah, that's going to go there. Okay. I got to go slow because I'm not too sharp at this. Okay, so this is going to be 4 raised to the third minus 12. Is that okay? Okay. Order of operations tells me what should take place first on this exponent. So 4 to the third is not 4 times 3, is it? No, it's 4 times 4 times 4. Yeah, it's 4 times 4 times 4. So 4 to the third is the same thing as 4 times 4 times 4. So 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4. Oh, I'm glad you guys are here. I would have been lost on that. All right, order of operations is going to suggest we do what next? Yeah. So basically, 2 goes into 64 how many times? 32. Minus, that's a minus sign. So that gives me 20. Fist to 5. Where are you at? Fist to 5. Last problem I want to do for right now. I'm, there will be time. I'm going to send you. Cool? Thank you for reminding me, but I will. I will. I will. All right, friends. Last problem on this side. What do we do? You feel good with that? Yeah. Order of operations would suggest what do we do first? Yeah, add 5 and 13, which is 18. And then order of operations would say what? 2 times 18, which is 36 maybe? Did I do that math right? And then divide by 3. How many times does 3 go into 36? 12. 12. Friends, fist to five on this side. Where do you feel? If I gave you a quiz right now, would you, with a calculator, with these notes in front of you as a guide, do you feel you get at least an 80% fist to five on the 80%? Sweet. All right. One last thing I want to show you. Not this, no. I don't have anything planned for you today. Not on a quiz. I know you were hoping so, but I'm sorry. So let's. Let's pretend I have a problem like this. Can you give me two minutes? Count it for me. Well, don't really, but. All right. So, friends, if I had a problem that said this, and I had, say, a four here, comma, blank, and then down here I had a blank, comma, uh, three. So taking a look at this, this do these does this look like an ordered pair? Like it could be a point? Like we have an x and a y value? Do you feel comfortable with that? So if these are kind of like an x and y value, take a look at the very top one where I have a 4. Is this 4 an x or a y value? x. So that means I'm going to do this. Now, on the other one, does this appear to be an X or a Y value? Y? All right, so take a look at either of the boards. Do you see how sometimes you might have to plug in for the X value, sometimes you might have to plug into the Y value? Okay. So walk me through this first problem. What does it look like I should do? 2 times 4, and then 2 times 4 is going to give me 8 minus 3, and then 8 minus 3 is? So this is the solution here. Do you see that? And I know I don't really have space for it, but I just wanted to give you a little guidance. Now on the other one, notice I had to plug that 3 in for the y value. So does anyone know how? Let's get a... A color that's dynamic, which I think is a good pink color. So this problem that I'm putting in this pink rectangle, how do you think I could solve that problem for x? What do you think? So yeah, how can I get... How can I get that X by itself, though? Do what? Ooh, add 3 to both sides. What do you think? 
Add three, add three. So that cancels. Okay, let's see if we get the same answer though, okay? Divide each side by two. Those cancel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, dude, you mean like this? Yeah, baby. I love, I love the thinking. I love the thinking. All right. Hey, my friends, my friends, what I would like, being that you all have this sheet, oops, let's not do it dotted. Let's look at page six. Work together to get page six done. Okay? If you need to go get a book and you have your money with you, go over to Bear Necessities right now. Bring some money. Get the Algebra One. It's a red cover, red cover. You have your money, go over and get that book.